All right, folks, and we are back with our second amazing guest of this week's jam-packed show. Jay Tyler is a musical artist with some pretty darn strong beats. He is featured on the MTV Artist page and is currently reigning as the best gay musician of Atlanta by the readers of Georgia Voice. He has headlined all over Georgia, and now he is set to break out into markets everywhere. His debut single, Live Out Loud, is available right this week very second on iTunes, and the official music video will be out on August 8th. Exciting times for him. Now he's here with us. Jay Tyler, welcome to This Show is So Gay. Thank you guys for having me. We have a little bit of ground to cover, sir. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm absolutely ready. So just like all of your colleagues who have been on the show before you, tell our listening audience why the medium of music to get your voice out there. So growing up, I always was drawn to music ever since I was little. When I was two years old, I started singing and and getting involved with music, and that was the only way that I felt natural to express myself in the realm of music. So I just started, you know, playing around with all the genres, and and I grew up on country and rock and roll, so nobody really expected me to to be a rapper. But, um, but yeah, I just, I just, moved into different genres, and once I found this one, I knew this one was one. Tell us more about that. So, you know, because I don't know if you know this, rap is very much not country or rock and roll. When what? you when you hit on rap, wh- how did you know that it clicked for you? So, I'm I'm a very fast-paced person. I like to move fast and I like to be creative and and I like to to express myself in a fast-paced way. And and I always knew, you know, like my country songs and my pop songs that I wrote as a kid, they were always faster than the other ones that were being played. You know, it wasn't just me singing or whatever. It was me more talking. And, and, and I got involved with, with rap after um, one person who was in my high school class. You know, I learned a popular verse in, in a popular song called Look At Me Now with Buster Rhymes. I learned that fast verse. And you know it was popular for my high school classmates to learn it. And once I once I learned it and got it down, and I you know performed it before class, this one girl told me that I would never be a rapper. And so you know it, it didn't really upset me or it didn't really hurt me. I just couldn't stop thinking about it. So I went home that night and I wrote my first verse. And and I just fell in love with how creative it was as compared to all of the other genres and how how natural it felt for me. And and so I just started practicing every day and. And I just fell in love with it more and more every single day. And that's, you know, that's how I decided that I wanted to do this because it was, it just felt natural and it felt organic and it felt real for me. That girl will be on next week's show and we're going to yell at her. Just wanted to give you the heads up <laughs> that that's going to be happening. Not a lot of gay rappers out there. No, not at all. And, you know, I think it's because, you know, in the hip hop world, you know, growing up in the 90s and stuff, you know, when I listened to it, it was more of a dog eat dog world and and even you know e- even female hip hop artists had to fight their way into that you know field of work and and especially i think you know not only because it's me being gay but it's me being white you know they've gotten used to Eminem and then Macklemore's come along and now we have G-Eazy and you know it's becoming common for white people to be rappers but you know, it's it's not common whatsoever for a white gay person to become a rapper. And I think that, you know, I'm here, you know, one, because music is my life and this is what I want to do, but also to represent the LGBT community in the rap world um, as a white gay person. There you go. There you go. All right, well, let's get to it. Tell our listeners all about this single, Live Out Loud. Uh I absolutely love this song, and if, even if it weren't my song, you know, I think that I would be, you know, I would draw to it because, you know, I sat down after the tragedy of Orlando happened. I was really upset by it. You know, I have friends in Orlando, and and you know, I was glad that they were all safe. And you know, just it it just upset me because performing in bars and clubs here in Atlanta, you know, I kind of. Um, you know, it was like, you know, what if that happened to me or that could have happened here or, you know, something like that. So it just really hurt me and it affected me. So I went home and, you know, I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I used my only expressive outlet to write a song just to 
spread love and happiness back into the world because I felt like that's what we needed right now. Instead of all of the hate and all of the worry and all of the, you know, what are we going to do now? You know, listen, we, we've come a long way and, and you only have one life. And in this life, our, our people, you know, Marsha P. Johnson, she fought hard for us to be able to have pride and she fought hard and, and everybody else that came after her, um, you know, she fought for all of us to live life how we are right now. The same sex marriage being passed last year and everything. I just felt like there's not a, there's not a, a better enough time for an LGBT artist to have a song about just living life and, and being free of every single negative entity in anybody's life you know and I feel like once I sat down and I wrote that song not only did it connect to me but it connected to anybody no matter if they were LGBT or if they were straight or if they were black or or whatever it just it just connected to people because ultimately the song is about getting through life and every single person gets through life and I feel like this is the anthem for that I love it. I love it. You performed it the other night. Is it fair to say that perhaps you got a little emotional performing it for the first time? Yeah, I did. I, you know, I, once the producer, he's the president of Big Show Entertainment, I just, once he announced me and I just felt all of the emotions. And, you know, when we were recording it in the studio, once I got all of the pieces down, all of the vocals down, and it wasn't even mixed or mastered yet, I... I just cried because, you know, this was something that put my heart and soul into. And, you know, I haven't had an original song out yet, you know, on iTunes or, you know, all music distributors. I haven't had that yet. You know, I've I've gained my, you know, recognition from posting videos online and, and of remixes of popular songs. And, you know, that's, that's kind of how I got my start and how I got people talking was, oh, you know, this guy is making this remix of this song that I've heard before but he's done it in a way that i haven't heard anything being done and you know once i had that original song you know because it was my it was my story it was my beat it was my everything you know i wrote the whole entire song myself and all of the vocal components that was me you know i didn't have anybody else and um you know just to be able to to showcase this work as you know, this is who Jay Tyler is. That was very emotional for me because I'm so passionate about my music that once I have this original song, it just, it made, it made my heart completely happy. What can we look forward to with this video coming out next week? Um, so I, I went down to um, Atlanta's Crog Street Tunnel. It's this area of Atlanta that's transitioning into this art scene and it's very, very artistic and creative and you know everybody goes down there with spray paint and just spray paints you know paintings and this and that and and um you know i think that collectively as a as a city or as a you know bunch of creative people having that as the location for the music video is perfect because it showcases not only myself but it showcases everybody else's talent behind me and i wanted to represent that and, you know, not just here is a rapper who's performing against, you know, this or recording a video against this background. No, once you look behind the background, it's not just me rapping, but it's all of the art and all of the representation of Atlanta. I wanted to do something like that just to show that, you know, it's very eclectic. You know, everybody's creativity comes together to make such a beautiful thing. And uh, and so that's why I went down there to... Um, to record and shoot the music video and I'm so excited for it. It's it's definitely, definitely going to be just a very stupid video to where you're gonna look at me and you're gonna be like, Yeah, he's you know, he's living out loud and he's living life and and that is exactly the message that I wanted to get across. Look at that. Good stuff. Tell our listening audience where they should go to follow all the amazing things that you're doing. So I mostly post on my uh, my Facebook page. It's uh, J Tyler. It's J period space Tyler. But you know I I go on Instagram and Snapchat, Twitter, um, and I have a, I just have my website um, that was released um, the day of the announcement of the song. So it's jtylermusic.com. 
and there I'll start um, I'll start selling T-shirts and start selling all of my merchandise there and and you know now I'm I'm proud to say that you can get my song on iTunes and Spotify and wherever else you listen to your music. There it is. Look, we can think of nothing better to tell our listeners than living out loud. We want everybody to live out loud. We, of course, want everyone to go download the single. You're doing great stuff, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for having me and and for letting me get to express my art and, and, you know, help everybody live out loud. On one condition, that you keep doing it. Oh, thank you. I definitely will. I'm not going to stop right now. Yo, I'm living it up, I'm living it Got one life, one shot to make a difference You better do better, put the pedal to the metal Put the one to the step like Missy and Sierra Cause life is but a green light Like it's in stone and there's no rewrite Life is a movie, better get the scene right Okay, I'm just gonna really kill it in the meantime Look, when I go on, yeah, I go off When I'm rapping rapidly, I ain't trying to show off I'm just going with the flow and I'm flowing Never taking a no when the crowd starts rowing But this is the life that I'm living Everybody talks, but not everybody listens Here's to the hopers and the dreamers You just gotta live out loud, break the speakers I'm living it up, oh, I'm living it I'm living it up, oh, I'm living it up I'm doing it up, oh, I'm doing it I'm doing it up, oh, I'm doing it up I'm turning it up, oh, I'm turning it I'm turning it up, oh, I'm turning it up I'm living it up, oh, I'm living it I'm living it up, oh, I'm living it For the believers, the real go-getters, the driven to achievers, the ones that people doubted and they proved them wrong. This is your anthem, this is your song. Don't let anybody ever tell you what you can't do. You have the vision and this is your view. So look past the negativity and see the truth. The only one to hold you back is you. You live life to express, not impress. I told them nothing succeeds like success. Be free. There's a time to second guess. I'ma be me, and I couldn't care less. Cause this is a life that I'm living. Everybody talks, but not everybody listens. Here's to the hopers and the dreamers. You just gotta live out loud, break the speakers. I'm living it up, oh, I'm living it. I'm living it up, oh, I'm living it up. I'm doing it up, oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it up, oh, I'm doing it up. I'm turning it up, oh, I'm turning it. I'm turning it up, oh, I'm turning it up. I'm living it up, oh, I'm living it. I'm living it up, oh, I'm living it. I kill it with the flow, set the beat on fire, uh And it's down to the wire, so you better start living it up to the higher Celebrate daily, each time you awaken, you get another shot to do great and be amazing And isn't that amazing? <laughs> Let's go! L-I-B-E I'm living it up and I'm me L-I-B-E I'm doing it up and I'm free L-I-B-E I'm turning it up and I'm me I'm living it up, oh, I'm living it. I'm living it up, oh, I'm living it up. I'm doing it up, oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it up, oh, I'm doing it up. I'm turning it up, oh, I'm turning it. I'm turning it up, oh, I'm turning it up. I'm living it up, oh, I'm living it. I'm living it up, oh, I'm living it. Oh, oh.